Come on, that's what I've been looking for. We're trying to figure out our route for the Super Bowl of Birding. And just to give you an idea of what we're up against here, I, I opened up my spreadsheet from the last time we did this. And the thing that came up was like proposed 2017 route, which never happened, right? We never went in 2017. Right. So that's what we're working off of. That means it's been, it's, it's since 2016 is the last time that we actually went to any of these places. Wow. So uh, 5 a.m. Flax Pond in Lynn. That's where we got the grebe early in the morning and I almost puked. Oh, I forgot about the puking part, but yes. Yes, that's right. Uh, 545 Ipswich River Wildlife Sanctuary. I think that's the place, like, you drive up a little hill, and then there's, like, a field, and we got the owls there. It was That That was in the dark, right? Yeah. With a, with a well-beaten hiking path. I think so. Yes. I think so. Yes. So, so there's, like, a series here that are all, like, the places out on, um, what is the peninsula? Yeah, Cape Cape Ann. Ann. Is that what it's called? Wait, is Lob Lolly Cove the one with the um, purple sandpipers? I think that's Lob Lolly. Well, the one you said, the one that's, it's it's like a street that you go through residential and it curves around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Lob Lolly. That's where we had the purple sandpipers. Then Halibut Point State Park. I don't remember what that one is, unless, unless that's the one I'm thinking of. So East Point and Halibut Point, maybe I'm getting those confused. What about the farm field thing? That was a state park. Uh, we didn't get there yet. But that's not that's not the state park we're talking about? No, no, no. So then then is Plum Cove, which I have written down as the Barrow's Golden Eye spot. Okay. Okay. So now we're now we're leaving the north side of the peninsula. We used to do a big loop. Yeah. Then we have the Spencer Little Farm. That's the okay. farm. Okay. We've had decent stuff there. Then Parker River, National Wildlife Refuge, slash Plum right. Islands. We know what right. that is. Yeah. This 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 needs a, a, a heavy plunge into eBird. Like very yeah, so now, speaking of which, we, we kind of have to decide something. Since we're not technically competing, right? Since it's just the two of us, we're in this new category, non-competing category. Yeah. What is really our goal here? I mean, do, I know what you're going to say. Do we want to like just straight up try to win, but we can't win? Or do we want to say, hey, let's try some stuff out, yeah. you know, and, and scout some yeah, things? Yeah, I, I had the same thought as you started that sentence, that question out. Yeah. Um, I, maybe maybe we should refresh our memories and drive around a little bit and see what we see and then let the chips fall where they may kind of a thing. Maybe we don't focus on, like, finding specific species to chase. Yeah, yeah. You know, because we'll never be able to use that information Well, I mean, again. the Cape Ann, you know, perimeter loop is, is obviously going to have to happen. But maybe, maybe right. it should happen at a different time. Like, the ducks, you know, you're looking at the ocean in the middle of the day. It doesn't matter what time during the day you go. Maybe we maybe our right. strategy this time should be where do you want to be in the morning and where do you want to be at the last hour of sunlight? Right. Okay. So then then part of the question is this route from twenty sixteen is only Massachusetts. Uh, mm. Do we want to do anything in New Hampshire? I'm gonna say no this year because okay. of the time frame we're we're compacting this into. Okay. I mean I Without really getting an eBird, I don't know how much more we can really talk about. Uh, I'll add this. Uh, we are at a distinct disadvantage. Uh, uh, going up to other people's home field as visitors, seven years removed from being familiarized with it. If we don't finish dead last, anybody we beat, yeah, hard to not say something negative now. So I'm just not going to. <laughs> <laughs> like how dare you let us beat you but you know maybe it's a testament yeah, yeah. of how uh freaking good we are maybe <laughs> my eyes damn i think i slept 12 hours i can press i, I can press 12 hours of sleep in four hours. <laughs> i don't I think i sleep I, I didn't hard. i didn't sleep at all at all no did i snore no uh, you did but that's not why i was i didn't sleep all right, so our best species total was 68, and our best point value was, I think, 132. So I think the goal today is to get to a point value of 140 and a species total of 70. That's To me, that's, that's a win for us. Yeah, 100%. All right, so we, we're at Ipswich River Sanctuary. 
which is our first stop, it's uh, 4.56. So we're gonna get out and start looking for some owls. And we've had great horn here before. We have, it's been <laughs> weird. It's <laughs> weird saying that because it's been a bunch of years since we've yeah, been here. Yeah. But yeah, so here we go, time for the fun. Birds. <laughs> what time is it? 657. 657, we're in Gloucester, Massachusetts uh, at Ye Old Fisherman's Memorial. This is the area that we usually come to to get the day started for uh, gulls and other things, ducks and stuff like that. So we're gonna head out onto this frigidly cold and really windy um, bay front here and uh, see if we could find our first couple of birds. We had two birds so far. We got great horned owl and we've got Canada goose. Yes. <laughs> Canada goose was our first bird, which is a team no-no. We hate that, but that's what it was. Uh, and we have <laughs> four points so far. So now it's daylight and it's time to actually try to really get some stuff. So let's see what we can get and um, Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Good luck. Stay warm. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, ja genuinely, that's one of the big challenges of this whole event is navigation. Crazy New England roads. Yeah. This is Niles Beach, where we just got a five-point bird near three. Somewhere out there, it's a tiny little bird. It's diving into the water. basically a giant semicircular loop around the Cape Ann Peninsula and the wind is coming off the southern side of the peninsula pretty pretty stiffly today we've just kind of arced around to like the north side and there's like no wind and it's like we're in a totally different place now so much feels much warmer even though we're like you know a tenth of a mile away from where we were just a minute ago and the wind was whipping through uh, we've got like 45 points right now um, so we're really nowhere near what we want but you know we're, we're we're starting to take them off a little bit I feel like this is like where our super Bob like story really started like even though it yeah. wasn't the first place we went the first year like this was the first place we went we're like okay now we're seeing like New England birds. Mm. Something's different. I swear, this is where we had the dove key, wasn't it? Um, one year I think dove key was here, yeah. Jeez. We're at the Grand Pier right now. We just picked up some purple sandpipers and ruddy turnstones. It's the uh, first time for ruddy turnstones on this competition for us. Ready? I wanted it. I was waiting for the GoPro to go on the hat before I did. <laughs> wait, wait till December when you guys all forget about it. It's like a little beyond, like in the group, but a little bit towards the back, but it, it just dove. Near the group? Yeah. It was like behind the Harlequin. God, they are gorgeous. Come on, 
That's what I've been looking for. They're above the horizon, half the field. Um, I mean, they're just over open ocean, but they're adults. Two, two, one of them's coming towards us. It's all white. High up. It's only half the field above the water. Now it's going down to the horizon. It's a quarter of a field above the water. Yeah. Unbelievable, man. Yeah, yeah I can see it. <laughs> Raise your short brock! There it is. <laughs> Gosh. 33 species is all we got so far. This <laughs> not that great. I mean, it's only 10 bucks. Feels like it's a lot later than that. Well, there's a lot. There, there's a lot less birds in these places, from what I remember. It, it, it does feel like there's like, especially like gulls and offshore birds. Like yeah. it felt like, oh, we went somewhere there was like 50, 50 or seventy-five gulls we had to look through. And yeah. That was like, 10. yeah, yeah. So maybe it's the change of the weather and like the wind. I don't know. Oh, this is all right. <laughs> I see stuff flying. There's, there's stuff flying over the path back there. A lot. Look at it. There's yeah. a lot of stuff going on back there. We could get some of the uh, yard bird kind of things here. It's actually really nice right now. Yeah, for, for a few minutes. We need like friggin' white throated sparrow. I know. We're just finishing up at Halibut State Park and the excitement for the day is that we managed to pick out a kitty week from land, which is a great bird to get. Uh, I think it's our, that's our first one on Super Bob. Oh yeah, for sure. And um, uh, not a whole lot of other stuff, but that's a good one we were hoping to get. And now we're kind of transitioning over to our like land bird stuff and we are really hurting for regular like yeah. Downy, chickadee. Actually, we got we got chickadee. We goldfinch. We don't have. We have one junco, one cardinal. Yep. And one blue jay. Yeah. Really s slim pickings for the yeah. uh, yard birds. Yeah. So so that's the that's the next phase of the operation is to try to track down some of them. From here to the farm, to the crossbills, to Plum Island. Oh, the crossbills. We got a lot of... That's it, though. That's the rest of the day. Yeah. But well, that's a long drive. Um, it, it is and it isn't. I think we're pretty far up there now. We took care of some necessities. <laughs> <laughs> yes, first drink in, uh, what, almost 12 hours. Yeah, I'm gonna call that a lack of planning on your part. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, <laughs> mm -hmm. Shoot us? Maybe. But I mean, do you see anything? Well, no, but still, there aren't easy to see. Yeah, but they usually never shut up. Mm. I guess in the winter, they it could be quiet. That's frustrating. All right, well, let's just, if we wait a minute, they might come back out, whatever that was. Are you kidding me? There's more on the ground? All right, we are in Salisbury Beach State Reservation where there are two dozen crossbills. Uh, but this place is really big and they could be in any of these pine trees. So basically we've split up, sort of. Justin is walking through the lanes of traffic, the, the roads, and I'm going to sort of zigzag back and forth and we'll be within 50 feet of each other or something like that and hopefully we find the birds. We tried this uh, in 2017, the last time we did this um, with the full team. And we were completely unsuccessful finding the birds we were trying to find because the area is just too big. 
So I'm hoping that this time we're a little luckier, but it's anybody's guess. No crossbills, but we got the nut hatch, which is good. It's a multi-point bird. I'm not sure uh, how many, but more than one. That is annoying. Yeah. It must have covered more than half of these trees. I mean, yeah. I saw those other ones across the street. I'm like, screw it, let's try it here too. That's brutal. Very frustrating. All right, well, my lid it is. We'll get there at two. We're gonna have an hour. Yeah. We are now at Parker River National Wildlife Refuge, which is our last stop of the day. There is only about an hour left until um, till sundown. And uh, we, we, I'd say we don't really feel too good about our numbers right now. No, do we? I don't. I don't uh, we're in the 60s, aren't we? I, you know, I haven't counted in a little while, but I'm, I'm not feeling thrilled about it. I feel like we've done. We're doing exactly the same as every other time we've done. This. Yeah, possibly. So yeah. we have a couple things we're going to try to get here, and then you know we'll we'll start working on the totals. Did we get lark over there? Oh. Maybe. <laughs> uh, bad. I guess we didn't get anything, did we? Oh, man, I didn't see one living thing in there at all. Yikes. This is yeah. He's up. Wait, he's to the right. That's horned. Definitely horned. It's horned? Definitely. Okay. Well, all right. That's a bird. All right. Dude. Two coyotes. Let's see. Where are they? Uh, we could just see them coming over the hill. There's a, a green bush by itself. Right. Over a tiny Holy bit crap. and down. Oh. You think something like that is possibly... It's over. <laughs> Time is up. We have used up every last minute of our 12 hours. All right, now that the day is over, we're normally, normally for this event, you would go to the, the concluding ceremony where everyone would hand in their checklist, but there isn't one this year. They're still virtual for this event. So that virtual um, meeting happens tomorrow. We are going to go get dinner and drive immediately back to New Jersey. So it's going to be a long night. Uh, but over dinner, we'll, we'll kind of total up our score and find out what we actually got. And um, we'll see how we compare it to the years with our full teams. I, I don't feel great about it. No. But, you no. know, we'll see. We, we'll talk, I guess we'll talk about what we did well and what we did poorly once we see what the totals yeah. are. Yeah, this needs further discussion. Yeah, it definitely does. Definitely does. All right, Dan, Justin, you guys are back from uh, Super Bowl of Birding, hosted by Mass Audubon. How'd it go? Uh, maybe some highlights, lowlights. What do you expect for next year? What's your take? We had a total of 62 species, uh, and it added up to 118 points, which is decent for us, but 62 is under decent. Yeah, not, not great, but I will say this. I think it... it it being the first year in six years we've been back there, uh, I don't think this year is going to be very reflective of our future years there starting next year. I think that we just refreshed our memories of locations. And uh, now that we're, we re-familiarized ourselves with where we're going to be next year, I think we could expect those scores to definitely go up. I think we learned a couple of tough lessons about uh, what to do and what not to do in terms of the route. 
we just basically replayed the the route from like the old days, so to speak. And, um, you know, I mean, it, it has some strengths and weaknesses, but next year we're going to be changing the order of how we do certain things and uh, kind of changing the strategy of what we spend our time on for the morning versus the afternoon. And I think it's going to give us a much better result. Fair enough. Hopefully, uh, you know, Andrew and I can uh, join you guys next year, but look forward to it. Next year, number one.